Tesla had their big AI day. Did you see it? Uh, three hours, a three hour presentation. What is the view count there? It's chopped off for me ever so slightly. It's uh, 1.1 million. 1.1 million streamed live August 19, 2021. No, uh, the only thing that I saw come out of it was the robot dude. Did you see the actual like robot? I mean, I saw a photo of it. Oh, okay. So you haven't seen it dance. Like, I have not anything. seen okay. it dance nothing. Cool. We right, have well, live react this here. This is a nice, amazing engineering from the Tesla team. But they did something that was truly amazing here. A I can't tell heat. if you're being sarcastic or not, but okay. I mean, yeah, that's the robot itself. Yeah. But they actually brought it in on stage to meet Elon. So this is the photo I saw. This is very humanoid. And it's coming up on stage. Look at that. That's not a robot. How? That's a person, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. What is this stunt? And there's e All right. <laughs> Amazing feat of engineering here. I am. So uh, what was their angle here that it's funny that we keep watching the Boston Dynamics robots dance? And so they're like, let's make it dance. Take a shot at them or what? Maybe. Yeah. Well, obviously, the there isn't a physical robot that right. they can show. So they just, Elon's humor decided to just, you know, dress oh. someone up as a robot and... Have them dance. Tesla's events are so always feel so low budget. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun, right? Forever, you have, like though? the richest For guy in the world, and then you have like this weird off-put stage. Forever, though. I don't mind it. See, that's my thing. Is 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 sometimes that cute mm -hmm. kind of thing wears off. Uh, we've talked about this already. The same yeah. thing goes with ordering the cars. Or well, the Tesla um, stage is not bad. They did a pretty good job. No, that. no, no. I'm just saying a company of that scale compared to the likes of Apple or something like that, where right. it's so polished and tight. Yeah. They have a much more... And, and hey, it's to each their own. I don't... I agree with you to a certain extent. Things can get so polished that they feel they're lacking. There's no human left over. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... It can't be funny or everything mm -hmm. feels forced. This is, it's fine. I'm just curious if we ever get to that point where there's more polish. If, it, if they, yeah, if they put together presentations that are more similar to the other right. tech giants that are out there. I'm not saying they have to or even that they should. I'm just curious if they ever get to that point. Mm -hmm. So this is the Tesla bot world built by humans for humans, friendly. Eliminates dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. It's five foot eight, forty-five pound carry capacity. One twenty-five pounds uh, is the weight of it. One hundred and fifty pound deadlift. <laughs> hmm. Speed of five miles per hour and an arm extended lift of ten pounds. Now, I saw a couple takes on social media on Twitter. Is he in the He's in camera the right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it. Is. Down. It, it's because you got the treats on the table. I know. Yeah. I, yeah. I should give him one. Anyway, so I saw a couple of takes on social media that like, people saying, it's all great. You want to talk about having a bot eventually. But I saw a little bit of frustration around the delivery of cars. A little bit of frustration of, okay, great. How about you just get me the car that I ordered a year ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And maybe that's what I'm talking about, about the romance of the whole thing. Sure. It's like once you interact with it in a more intimate way or you've been a customer for a long time, your expectations change over time. For sure. And, and the, mo the moonshot aspect is still interesting, but you really, you, be, you grow to be skeptical about when it actually happens. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I was to say to you right now, I'm sounding like a downer right now. I like robots. This stuff is cool. I, 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 I want, I like it when it's shown off. I even like concepts. But if I were to ask you right now, Will, how, what, at what point do we see this robot in real life? At what point do I buy it? At what point is it in this studio? What date do you do you put on that? Uh, maybe in, I would say realistically, 
Five years. Five to eight years. You just <laughs> don't give me no five to eight range. You really want to say 10 years is what you really want to say. Well, there's just so many innovations within Tesla. Like they're trying to go to space. They're trying to. Well, that's not Tesla. Build. That's SpaceX. But yeah, Elon's yeah, but ambition. Like under Elon's sort of leadership, he's trying to build tunnels for cars. And it's like there's so many promises that I feel like um, AI is just one of those aspects. And it's so hard to pinpoint when are they actually going to be in production for any of it, right? You kind of see snippets of like, you know. What happens first? His projects just uh, coming up, but. What happens first out of these two things? Do I get the Tesla bot in the studio or do I get the Neuralink implant? Which one happens first? Uh, good question. I think the bot. Interesting. Okay. I mean, with the brain stuff, doesn't it take a while? <laughs> <laughs> All that brain stuff? With the AI stuff, they can literally just there. build like a Boston Dynamics similar to that. I feel like it might be a little faster. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, it's just, we'll see. We'll see about these bots. I'll get one. How much is he charging for it? Did he say? No. 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 But, I mean, they're uh, just, yeah, just I, guess, I guess it's just a couple of specs here. Multicam video neural networks, autopilot cameras, PSD computer, uh, neural net planning, auto labeling, simulation. And tool. I mean, the way they're showing it looks great. It looks more human like than anything Boston Dynamics has done with the Atlas or, well, obviously with Spot. Spot is on four legs. Mm hmm. So, uh, it looks cool, but yeah, it's just concept stuff. Vaporware. Uh, hey, no, man. No, no, no. Jeez, that's, that's a heavy no. word, man. <laughs>